South African Depression and Anxiety Group helps thousands of people who have mental health problems. But now the organization is in need of assistance. The group says it's going to have to shut down its suicide line if it doesn't receive funding soon. As ENCA anchor Joanne Joseph discovered, the NGO needs a million rand over the next year. It is really an unfortunate state of events right now. But to start off with, I doubt many people realize mm -hmm. uh, the extent of what you do and why it costs so much. Mm -hmm. Could you just talk Indeed. us through that? Absolutely. Um, you know, when we obviously have someone who is crying out for help, um, they contact our call center, um, we have to obviously take the call. We then conduct, you know, telephonic um, counselling, and um, when then it calls for us to then contact other expertise, um, such as perhaps the police, if the person we feel that they are maybe in danger, um, and then also refer them to other, either a psychologist, either finding them maybe a, a bed in a hospital, and so forth. So you can realise that our costs then is not just that one call coming through, but there's also other additional costs. But also the material that we use to provide the education, you know, the pamphlets, the brochures that we develop, um, we, they require to be printed and distributed. We then also have outreach programs where we go into schools and we conduct workshops class by class and also conducting workshops for educators. And um, so there is obviously then the cost obviously to transport our, our, our counselors and, and our trainers to those various um, communities and um, to be able to then roll out our workshops. And this of course is a critical time for you with, Indeed. with t teen suicide yes, coming up. Yes, absolutely. It? We've got teen, su um, teen suicide prevention week coming up on the 14th, um, from the 14th to the 21st of February and um, we do expect an, you know quite an increase in the demand for our services and um, you know we also are meant to mention as well we've got an SMS line where people send please call me and then our trained counselors get in touch with them so obviously with the teen suicide prevention week and um, we go on to platforms such as these that indeed then you know kind of, um, you know, propels the reaction, you know, from the uh, people that are in need. It could either be someone who feels that they are depressed and they need help or a family member and so forth. So that then sees our contact center, you know, becoming very, very busy, obviously, with people contacting us and seeking help. So, so what you're doing right now is is you're reaching out very properly, yes. pro probably to a corporate uh, South African indeed, company, indeed. asking for help. It, it, tell them exactly what you mm -hmm. need. Look, we do need the financial financial injection. We do need that financial capital to come in to allow us to be able to roll out the kind of services and the help that we are rolling out. However, this is not only limited to corporates, you know, even individuals, you know, people can also, you know, contribute whatever it is that you are able to contribute. We've got a donation button on our website where members of the public can go on and click that button and donate um, whatever it is that they are able to afford. Every penny does in indeed make a difference um, in as far as we are concerned at this particular stage. And this has been a long time coming. You know, it's not that we're just coming out of the woodworks now and saying, well, you know, we are in a crisis. It's been quite a number of years coming. You know, as the group, we have tried other means in terms of fundraising, in terms of really being creative in finding ways to sustain, um, you know, our organization. After 22 years, we really, I think it will be quite a shame and really, um, you know, such a terrible thing to happen to our country when we, we, we realize that there is such a huge need for the kind of work that we do and the kind of help that we offer to our people because not everybody can access um, you know proper medical care pertaining to um, you know mental health and, and mental well-being. How much help are you getting from government in Guinea? Um, we have not received any donation from government for a number of years now um, and and it's quite unfortunate um, you know so we don't have that kind of um, you know sort of backbone you know to fall back on and um, so we really have ha had to derive means other means of ensuring that we can sustain ourselves and um, so unfortunately the support financial support from government has not been forthcoming in quite a number of years I, I'm out of time here so I've got to mm -hmm. ask you one last quick yes. question I mean for mm -hmm. for many companies or any company yes. that might want to sponsor you they mm -hmm. may consider this purely a business decision mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would there be any returns for them look absolutely I mean we're quite happy to you know meet and to derive and make sure that then we can ensure that, you know, as a business, as a corporate, you've got your objectives. How then can we make sure that we assist in that whilst also making sure that we realize and deliver on, um, on what our mandate is as the South African Depression and Anxiety Group?
A reminder of our top stories, DAMP and former prosecutor Glynis Breitenbach to appear in court for allegedly destroying evidence. Reports that there may have been another collapse at the Lily Mine where three have been trapped for over a week. A Gauteng principal caught on camera beating children is still on the job three months after the incident. A young gymnast from Johannesburg is gearing up for an international competition in the United States, but a lack of funds stands stand in the way of her dream. Her father is appealing for help so that the young aspirant Olympian can hone her skills abroad. Amala Joseph's greatest wish is to represent South Africa on the world stage and she's been working very hard to fulfill that dream. I work five hours um, a day, so that's like 25 hours a week. The current national champion in her age category, she's been competing as a gymnast since the age of three. Now nine years old, she is even more dedicated and driven. I like to win, so... Yeah. How do you feel when you win? Very good. Even if it's a mini competition. The one thing I really like to do is win. Amala has been dominant against her peers locally and now everyone wants to see how she fares internationally. We found is if we start travelling too late and start representing South Africa and our club too late, um, we just will always be behind and inexperienced. I mean, the Americans, as we know, are the world champions, and it's great to be able to compete there and learn from them and compete against them from a much younger age. Going against the best in the world can open many doors for her, but the grade three pupil might not be able to make the trip to the U.S. after all. Yeah, it's money. <laughs> it's always money. Um, you know, I think when you consider with exchange rate as it is, you're going to the States to be able to...